Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius and you want your birth chart, this reading may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Okay, so let's see spirit guides and light and test the city masters, my angel of pride and light. What's going on for Aquarius? My collective regarding love. Please want to receive quite precise messages. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Fool. You could be connected to Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and the Eight of Wands here. Okay, so I'm seeing here that you want some type of new beginning here. Okay, you could have an opportunity presenting itself to you right now. And it's like you're just going with the flow. You're trusting life. Okay, you're walking on blind faith right now. And I'm seeing here you're optimistic. You're not thinking negative about this new beginning. Okay, you know you're going to succeed. You know you're going to be successful and have victory in whatever you're doing. Okay. Some guys could be traveling the world more. Or I'm seeing here you're just expanding your mind. Okay, it's like you're not being closed-minded. You're being open-minded more when it comes to situations. Okay, you have a lot of possibilities. And I'm also seeing here, it's like, you could have a dog that's coming along with you. But I'm seeing here, it's like, it's somebody here that's trying to stop you, okay, from moving forward. It's like, the soon as you was about to take that to faith, there's somebody here that's trying to stop you. It's an obstacle in the way. But I'm seeing here with the eight of wands, it's like, it's not getting in your way. But somebody is literally trying to stop what you got going on. I don't know if this is a test from the universe to see how bad you want it or how serious you is about something moving forward. But somebody here wants to communicate with you. I'm seeing somebody here could be moving and it's like you could be having somebody here that's trying to um, stop you from moving because they want to be close to you. I'm hearing birds chirping. Somebody here, you could um, have birds chirping when you wake up. Well, that's how you wake up, hearing birds chirping. What else? Some of you guys could live, like, is that a patio? Or you have, like, a, um, I forgot that word. A balcony? that you live like your house have a balcony and you can just like open the door and go on a balcony okay we have the nine of swords here yeah somebody here is trying to take action very quick before you move i don't know if you could have been talking to this person like this person that you move forward and you could have told somebody and they ran back and told somebody else <laughs> yeah with the nine of swords here, it's like somebody can't get to you i feel like it's too late somebody here was trying to reach out to you or come to where you stay or work or something like that call you you probably could have changed your number it's like you have a new number you have a new a new place a new job like all that like you're starting fresh if somebody can't sleep at night they have anxiety they have worry and fear because it's like they feel like they're not going to see you again and it's like you have to move away from this person because i'm seeing this person is depressed they have a lot of trauma you know i was thinking negative Else. Now somebody is trying to get in a hold of you and it's like they can't. Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing here, it's like you're loving yourself more. You're putting yourself first. Okay, you're being compassionate and patient with yourself. Okay, you're nurturing yourself. You're doing a lot of self-care. You're healing. Okay, you're feeling emotionally stable. And you intuitively know that this person misses you. Like they're trying to get in contact with you. You know this. Your gut probably already told you this. And that's true. Somebody here misses like how caring and nurturing he was and how much comfort you gave them, you know? And it's like they can't get there nowhere else. Some of you guys, okay, it's like, just you, 
went through this new beginning. It's like you probably can't sleep because I don't know if the time is different from where you used to stay. And it's like you're trying to, you know, you could be up at night because you yeah, have the time of a time difference. Yeah. Some of you guys could be journaling. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you got out of a relationship that was toxic. You start loving yourself, okay? You didn't trust this person. It was very imbalanced. It was all attention. And it's like you guys, you know, had a book of communication. And that's when you knew it was your time to go. Yeah. We have the King of Pentacles here. It could be reading somebody you knew. This person could be very um, loyal, faithful. Okay, there could be a businessman, wealthy. Okay, they're disciplined, they're abundant, they're generous. Yeah, you could be communicating with somebody new. But I'm seeing here, this person that you let, this person could have been materialistic. And it's like, they could have wanted their freedom. They feel like, you know, being in a relationship made them feel tied down. We have the star. Yeah, I'm saying you're meeting somebody new. There's going to be a um, a healed, mature, spiritual connection. It's destined for you to meet this person. This is like a good omen for you for doing good and, you know, putting the effort in to changing your life. Yeah, can you come to the bottom of that? This person, they're going to be emotionally stable. Just like you, yeah, this is your soulmate. Compassionate. Okay, they're going to be in control of their emotions. They're a balanced, supportive leader, tolerance, empathetic. Mm -hmm. Clarify the page of wands. Yeah, this person could be communicating with you very soon. It's like you're either going to travel somewhere and it's like you're going to meet this person. Or they're either going to try to like help you financially. Because I'm seeing some guys, you are like moving forward and it's like you don't even have anything that you need like as far as finances. But it's like, you know, you have faith that everything is going to fall right into your lap. And I feel like this is going to be this opportunity that's going to be coming towards you. This person is King of Pentacles so that's going to give you this drop off or help you in some type of way regarding your career and finances. And it's like, I'm seeing here, we, whenever you meet this person, like, y'all going to have a conversation. About, like, you know, everything you went through and why you chose to move or you moved, you know. I'm also seeing here, it's like this person that you was dealing with, they could have been materialistic. And it's like this person could even stole some money from you or something like that. And it's like you couldn't. Yeah, it's like somebody here was trying to stop you from moving forward. So they took all the money or something that you either had put up or something like that. Or they broke your phone or something or broke your cards. And that was some type of delay for you. You felt like that was going to be a delay. And this person, when they did it, they was excited to do this. Like they... Thought that it was fun doing this to you. You know, this person could have been bored. But it's like this person has a lack of motivation, lack of energy, lack of passion. Okay. And it's like they wanted you to feel that way. They didn't want you to move forward. But I'm seeing here with the star card, you did most definitely move forward because you had hope. And you was like, this is not, you know, my, this is not going to stress me out. I'm not going to allow this to make me mad or anything like that. Like you stay calm in the situation. Give me another card for the page of wands. In the pinnacles. Yeah, it's like this person took some type of wealth, financial security that you was either building on. And they either feel like they could take you because they was contributing to it and they feel like you was gonna take all the money and just up and leave them or something like that. But I see now you have ten of pinnacles coming in towards you, well, success. Okay. Long term success. Okay. Because you chose to heal yourself and get out of a situation and not allow it to break you down. You know? What else? It's the pinnacles in reverse. Some of you guys could have had an abortion. This person tried to get you pregnant. Or the baby didn't make it. 
Yeah, I don't know if you're saying this person was really trying to stop you from moving forward. Like, that's crazy. I don't know if this person could have got you fired from your job. And it's like, you guys, at first you was having fear and anxiety and worry because you're just like, you didn't have nothing to lie back on, you know? Because this person didn't took everything from you. Now this person, whatever they invest in is a bad investment. Or you realize that you invested in this person and you shouldn't have, but everything is, a, you know, a lesson. You just got to move forward. And you didn't plan right because this, apparently this person knew your, your, what you was doing. That's why they was 10 steps ahead of you because that's why they took, you know, what they, the money from you or took something from you that you needed to move forward. I'm seeing it's like you always try to fix this relationship and, and have hope that things will get better. But it's like you realize you just kept missing out on stuff, you know, because of this person. We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you didn't have nothing behind it. Now I'm seeing here you're learning some type of new skill. But I'm seeing you always had ambition. Like you could either be starting your own business with the eight of pentacles here because you realize like this person can't take that away from you if you have your own business. Okay. Yeah, and it's like this person wanted all the recognition, all the victory and success. If y'all was working together, they they wanted that. They didn't want you to get no type of spotlight or nothing like that. Yeah, you felt born to contend with this person. And it's like you had a desire to win, you know? And that's when you went in hermit mode. And you realize that this person is taking your money. You know, what you've been manifesting, what you've been working hard for. Mm-hmm. And it's like... You can start being alone. You're not going out. If you used to go out a lot, just because you're saving the money. You're doing some soul search and reflection. Okay, you could be meditating. Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody here is stressed out and burdened and upset because it's like... All the money that this person took from you, or whatever they did, they're finna get their karma. This is how this person's gonna be in the end, feeling like this, burdened, stressed the fuck out. Give me a clarify the ten of wands. Yeah, this person wanted to be in control. Didn't like to be told what to do. This how this is gonna be coming to an end for them. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, but what I'm seeing here with the emperor in the world. It's like this person would do anything or betray anyone to be the boss, you know, to be the person that's in charge. Cause they don't like to be told what to do. But I feel like this person, whoever this person is working for, the boss is gonna fire them. Yeah. And they're gonna have to have multiple jobs. And they're gonna feel like they have a lot of responsibility. Cause they're doing it all by themselves. I'm telling you, this person complains a lot. You know, it's a completion right here for 10. 10 of wands is a completion for the world. So most definitely. While you're celebrating life, feeling fulfilled, traveling, you know, accomplishing what you need to accomplish, this person's going to be feeling burdened and stressed the fuck out. Yeah. That's why this person doesn't want you to move away from them because they, they need your help. This person is lazy, but it's like you don't mind being independent, you know? So, I hope this video gave guys a clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.